Hello and welcome to another Vista Tips and Tricks video. Today we are looking at connecting to Capture. This is a question I've seen come up a few times, so I thought I'd do a little video kind of covering a couple of the ways to do this. So the first way I'm going to show you is on the same machine. So I'm using a PC here for reference, and it's actually quite simple. So the first thing you need to do is obviously create a rig in Capture, and then patch your fixtures in Capture's universes as you want them. Then obviously patch the same rig in Vista and make sure all of the addresses and all of the modes match. Once you've done that, we can then connect Vista to Capture. Now at the moment, we're not connected. And if I try and bring up any lights, we won't get any response from Capture. So to do this, we need a way for Vista to send DMX signal out and Capture to receive it. Now, natively, Capture will be listening for a few different types of protocols and you can go into the uh, options and see exactly what different types of protocols that it can accept. But the two that Vista can spit out that it will accept are ArtNet and Streaming ACN. Now to send those signals, we are going to go to our Connect Universes tab up here. We will get this dialog box. And in this dialog box, you will see any hardware that you actually have physically attached and any virtual consoles that you've also put into your show file. And from here, um, say I had a real S1 attached, I could tell the first port to be universe one and the second port to be universe two. And obviously that would then send universe one down a DMX cable into my rig and universe two down a DMX cable into my rig. But we need to do this over network and we can do it in exactly the same way. All we need to do is add a network connection. And to do this, we use that button down here, add network connection, and we can bring up the different protocols that we can send out. Now, as I said earlier, Capture will accept ArtNet or Streaming ACN. Uh, either of these will work fine. Today I'll use Streaming ACN. And all we have to do is add as many um, Streaming ACN ports as we have universes. Now in this setup, I'm using four universes of lights. So I just need to add four Streaming ACN ports. And to do this, I tap this button, add four times. And as you can see, I've now added four streaming ACN ports, one for each universe. Now I'm going to close this. Now what we have to do is set which universe is going to come out of which port, exactly the same as you would with your physical hardware. So I'm just going to patch these one to one. So port one, universe one, port two, universe two, port three, universe three, and port four, universe four. And as you can see, as I did that, um, capture, who's automatically kind of listening for these protocols, uh, saw that Vista was spitting them out and picked them up for us. And if we go into our universes tab here, you'll see that under external universe, we see all of the ports that we have just connected. So that's how to connect on the same machine. Like I said, very simple. Capture is automatically listening for these protocols. Uh, the same thing would work with ArtNet as well. As soon as you add in your ArtNet um, ports and then assign a universe to them, as long as everything matches up in your um, uh, show file as well, uh, it will work straight away. So next, I'm going to show you how to connect to a external console. So first, I'm going to take you through how to set up the capture machine. So I have a PC here running capture with a show that I've already designed. So the first step you need to take is to connect your machines physically. So take an ethernet cable, connect one side to your capture machine and take the other side and connect it to your Vista machine. Second step is once that's done, navigate to your ethernet properties. And you can do this by typing in ethernet in Windows 10 and you'll automatically come up with this dialog box and you'll see an unidentified network has appeared. So this is the bridge that you've just made. So now what we have to do is change the IP address for this network so it can communicate with the main Vista machine. So to do this, we'll go to change adapter options, navigate to your ethernet connection. Now I've already named this one as I've been using it previous. So you can also name it here as well. Right click, go to properties, go down to internet protocol version four TCP, Go to Properties 
and now we can type in our IP address. Now this is the same method you'd use if you were running your Vista in PC mode on the Vista machine. So all you have to do is make sure both IP addresses are in the same range. But today we are running our Vista machine in console mode. So when I go and show you that, there's going to be a little bit of a difference. But if you were running your Vista machine in PC mode, this would be the same process you would take on that. So both machines would be set up in the same way. All we have to do now is decide what IP addresses we want to use. So I'm going to be using Artnet today and I'm going to use the standard protocol for Artnet and the standard IP addressing, which would be in the 10 dot range or the 2 dot range. Uh, I'm going to make my main machine 10.0.0.1. So I'm going to make this machine 10.0.0.11. And I want the subnet mask to be 255.0.0.0. So all you have to do is type that in hit OK, hit close on this. I also suggest if this is the first time you're connecting to Capture um, that you disable your Wi-Fi driver as well. Uh, this is just to make sure that the Ethernet is the only thing that it's looking for at the moment. After it's connected, you can turn your Wi-Fi back on. So now we've connected that. My universes actually have popped up here as well because I've already set up my Vista machine. So I know that connection is working. Another thing we can do is we can go to tools and capture, look at the options, go to connectivity. And at the moment we have our IP address is set to automatic, but you'll see that also you can make sure that capture is listening to the correct ethernet port with the right IP address by clicking this here. So this is another option you have if you want to make sure that you're using the same IP address every single time. So now that we have the capture side set up, let's go and have a look at the Vista side of things. So now we're sat at the main console, I'm going to show you the steps needed to connect this to a, an external PC running capture. So I have capture running on my laptop over here and it is connected via ethernet cable to my main console over here and I'm going to show you now how to connect it using a network connection. Now one more thing to note is I'm running Vista here in console mode so what this means is I've actually got an extra tab in my user preferences called network. Now if I click on this this means that I can change my network properties and my IP address from Vista itself. I don't actually have to go into Windows to mess about with this or change it. I can do this directly from Vista, but this only applies if you're running your console in console mode. If not, you would go through the normal process of going to your Ethernet settings and changing them from there. So the first thing we're going to do is choose our network interface. And this is the physical connection that you have to your desk. So at the moment, I've got my Ethernet 2 port running my ethernet cable out of that and going into my capture laptop and that's what we're seeing here. So as this is the only one I'm going to choose this and now I'm going to change my IP address. So all I need to do is change my IP address to be in the same range as the one on my capture machine. Now I'm going to use a bog standard artnet protocol so basically it's going to be either in the 10 dot range or the 2 dot range now your networking may vary depending on how you've got your setup, but this is kind of the standard um, easy way of just setting up a nice ArtNet connection between one machine and another, or say one machine and an ArtNet node. And to do that, I'm going to use the 10 dot range. So in my IP address, I'm going to type 10.0.0.1. Now I like to have my main machine as the lowest in this, so I'm going to have this as one. And then my subnet mask is going to be 255.0.0.0. Then I'm going to hit apply. Now after I've hit apply, I'm now going to hit OK. I'm going to go over to patch. And just like we did before, I'm going to add my network connection. Now this time I'm going to use ArtNet. So I'm going to go down here and add network connection. I've got four universes again, so just as before, I'm going to run four uh, ARPNET ports. So I'm going to hit add four times. 
Then I'm going to go over to here and type in the universes that I want. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to hit close and you can see that these aren't connected yet. So uh, sometimes you'll get a prompt, but it's often good practice to, after you've changed your IP address on the console, is to quickly just go to file, restart Vista, make sure you save. We'll open our show file again, go to connect universes, and you'll see that we are now connected. So if this isn't connected straight away, do a quick restart. Sometimes Vista will even prompt you to do that. So now with our universes connected and our IP addresses in range, we should be able to hit go on a queue. And as you can see in capture, I now have control. So that's how to connect your external machine to your capture machine over a network. So now we have both machines set up and talking. So all you have to do is make sure that both machines are in the same IP address range. Like I said, if Vista is running in PC mode, simply set it up the same way we did with our capture machine. Just go to your Ethernet properties and type in your IP address there. Uh, a couple of other things to note, make sure that Vista is allowed through all of your um, security software and any files you have. Same goes for capture. Um, in fact, when I'm running this kind of thing, uh, I tend to be offline anyway. Like I say, I disabled my um, Wi-Fi and I turn my firewalls off just to make the uh, connection easy. Uh, also, if you're running it on a public network, I tend to turn this off. Uh, block incoming connections. This is something that can trip you up if you don't know that you need to turn this off. Again, simply type in firewall into your Windows search bar and you'll be able to navigate to this page and then go to your public network if it is running on a public network. If you've already set it up on a private network, you shouldn't have to do anything. But if you're running it on a public network, um, just turn this off and you'll be able to connect. I hope this has helped you out. Um, Again, any questions or comments, you can ask on the Vista forum or the Vista Facebook page. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.